Okay. Now, we reach stage in which we have to know how to solve a problem that has a reaction using three different methods, and we have to know which method is the best, if any. But before we go to that stage, and in order to be able to write degree of freedom for the three different methods, we have to know three easy things. Very easy, but I have to mention. First things we have to know, what do we mean by independent equation? <coughs> now we are talking about reactive system. physical. We are talking about reactive. In the physical, what did we say? Maximum number of independent equations that you can write equal number of species. But this is only applicable in the physical system, not in the chemical system. In the chemical system, we have to do some things before we go to the degree of freedom. First thing we need to know, what do we mean by N, D, N? equations, which is exactly the same as in the physical. If you have a generic equation that you can get by adding or subtracting different equation, it will be called dependent. So dependent, what does it mean? You can have it by adding or subtracting other equation. Or you multiply one equation by a factor, and you add it to another one. Fine. Let's see. If we have x plus 2y equal 4, 2x minus z equal to equation 1, equation 2, and we have 4y plus z equal 6. So, always we say, if we have three unknown, we need to solve it. In order to solve it, we need three equations. So now we have x, y, and z, and we have three equations. But again, so we need three equations, but we need three independent equations. Three independent equations. If you try to solve this one, can you solve it? Yes, no. Why? They have two variables. They have nothing. One has x, y, z, and another has x. Yes, yes. And equation 2 and 3 will give you the same as 1. If you multiply this by 2, say 2x plus 4y equal x. Was what? Take this minus this. This minus this. What will happen? 2x minus 2x will be gone. 4 y minus y mi minus 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 it. Minus, minus it. Minus minus z equal plus z. 8 minus 6. Two. So if you multiply equation 1 by 2 minus 2 will equal 3. This is the problem, see? And sometimes you will not notice it directly. You will not notice it directly. That's why, if you remember the matrices, the masrufat, if you have this means that you can solve, right? That can diagonal to the moment, you can solve. But in this case, if you try, you, to, you will have what? You will have one. 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. What does it mean here? This one? Yes. If you try to solve it using the matrices. Degree of freedom. And that, and that something here wrong. Yes. You have one missing information. Why is that? Because two of those equations are dependent. Dependent. Are dependent. Had an independent equation. So in order to solve for three unknown, we need three independent equations, not any three. 
We need three sharp equivalent independent equations. Fine. We'll take this a step ahead and we will go to independent reaction. <coughs> Then the reactions. So the reactions will be independent again if you cannot get one reaction from the other two reactions. As easy as this. If we have A going to two B and you have B goes to C and A goes to 2 C. This is reactions. <coughs> we have A goes to 2 B. When you produce B, B will go to C. Okay? So if you multiply this by 2, it is like the reaction here. Yes. The thing in the left side cancel the thing in the right hand side. So A goes to 2B, 2B goes to 2C, and A goes to 2C. 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 So here I can say I don't have any independent reaction. No? I have one. So Anahina, if I, you add them, if you the equation number three, we'll get it by adding one, one two. to two times two. So you cannot say here I have a three independent reaction. No, you don't have three independent reaction. You have one independent. Yeah. Even there is no one independent. If you if you remove one of them, the other two will be independent. Anyone you remove, the other two will be independent. But here in this system, I I can say all what I have that A will go to to C. To C. Yes. Now, very careful with the one that I will say now, because this is a little bit confusing. Easy, but you have to understand it. When we say in the bin, bin species, species. The air, when you have air, you can write an air and that an air contains 0.21 mole oxygen per mole or 0.79 mole nitrogen per mole. There is another method, they write it sometimes N1 mole oxygen with 3.76 N1 nitrogen because the ratio between, if you divide 0.79 by 0.2, to when it lies at 3.76. So, I'm not, I mean, it's not what we have. Almost the same amount of air we have. 3.76. That is the habit, and I'm not holding it. You will never forget. Then, you go look. What are they independent species? Or what are they independent species? How many species I have here? 
oxygen, nitrogen, nitrogen, C, 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 carbon, oxygen. I have four different species. Yes. Are you understanding, Shaba? Are you understanding? I have oxygen, nitrogen, carbon, oxygen. The question now, how many independent species balance you can write? Three. How many? Independent species balance you can write. Or you can write what? Oxygen balance, nitrogen balance, carbon balance, chlor balance, right? You can write four balances. How many out of these four is or are independent? Two. Three. Three. If two species appear with the same ratio everywhere in the chart, wherever they are encountered in the chart, then they are dependent. What does it mean? يعني خلينا نجي مثلاً إلى ال O2 وال N2 ال O2 وال N2 For each N1 from O2 you have 3.76 N1 N2 نجي هنا or each one mole O2, you have 3.76 N3. So the ratio between the oxygen and nitrogen is the same. Right oxygen balance, which is good. N1 equal N3. This is O2 balance, right? Yes. Hola. N1 equal N3. This is oxygen balance. If I want to make it atomic balance, because always we say in the chemical reaction, number of the mole is not the same input and output, I will do atomic balance to make it. So 2 and 1 equal 2 and 3, which is atomic balance. Now, let me do atomic balance for the nitrogen. What, uh, what will I say? 2 times 3.76 and 1 equal 2. 3.76 and 3. Divide by 2, divide by 3, divide by 3, divide by 3. What do we have? And 1 equal and 3. So from the two equations that I can write, I get only 1. So those are dependent. Come and see the carbon and the chlor. If you have one atom of C, you, have four, you will have four, uh, atoms, four of atoms of, of chlor here. Come here. For each C, you have four chlor. For each C, you will have four chlor. So if you write C balance, multiply it by four, you will get what? The chlor balance. Sure. So they will be dependent. So the carbon and the chlor are dependent. The oxygen and the nitrogen are dependent. So from here we have only two, two independent species. species. So you can write only two balances. Now suppose that we have another stream here and this stream contains O2. What happened now? They are not with the same ratio everywhere. Yes. Not with the same ratio everywhere. Let me show you. I have here N6 oxygen. In that stream, there is no nitrogen. So I can write oxygen and nitrogen now. It's not everywhere. Hi. Again, if you have here C, Cl3. The ratio between C and Cl, what happened? Become different. So I, Mate, when can I consider the species dependent? When can I consider the species independent? If the species appear with the same ratio in the chart, they will be dependent. If they are appearing, exactly the same ratio everywhere in the chart 
we will consider them as dependent. واضح يا شباب؟ everywhere شوف حط حتى أربعة خمسة فوق. وهايلايت وأيتاليك لا أحد يقول ما شفت. Now you go and see the streams that you have in the chart. Look to the species. If they are appearing in the same ratio everywhere. هنا لكل one mole or two you have three point seven six and one nitrogen. It's the same ratio. يعني divide this by this you will have three point seven six. Divide this by this you will have three point seven six. Same ratio. So they are dependent. They are dependent. Come to the chlor and see that. Divide number of atoms of chlor by the carbon. Four over one. Four over one. Four over one. So everywhere it is four over one. So we will consider it as dependent. If I have another stream in which you have a two over one or three over one or seven over one, not to just for explanation, it will be independent. طب هنا في independent species الحين عندنا الكربون يعني هنا لما تبغى تعمل بالانس you can do balance for oxygen and carbon or oxygen and chlor or nitrogen and carbon or nitrogen and chlor يعني all what you can write here two species balance independent any two any two من ال يعني تاخذ الاكسجين او النيتروجين والكلور او الكربون طب بس الحين ما هو الاكسجين طلع شيء اندبندنت كيف؟ ما هو الاكسجين يوم تاخذ طلع اندبندنت يس فانا اقول لك اقدر اخذ واحده منهم هذول ايذر الاكسجين او النيتروجين هذه واحده وايذر الكلور او الكربون 